world of YouTube, my name is Grandmaster Scott. Welcome back to the final episode of Kirby and the Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Where we last left off, you saw me finish the item challenge of the challenge rooms. And no, I may have done it in gold, but I'm not going for the fourth rank. What we are doing today, nope. What we are doing today though, is entering the boss stage. Which, if I, if my memory serves correctly, is more than just one boss and we're done. Um, okay, they're giving us a lot of power-ups here. Uh, ninja, bomb, cutter, leaf, wing, and sand. I gotta go sand. Excuse me. I've gotten every secret, well not every secret, but I've gotten every energy sphere, and I'm at 99 lives. Here we go! Final boss of Dangerous Dinner, Landia. Kind of a high rub, but I think it's supposed to be more based off of the Laden, the Hundred Headed Dragon. Cause... All right, first, no, wait, what? What did I do? I was trying to do the pause screen read. Landia, the four headed guardian who sleeps in Haldera Volcano has been revered as this planet's protector since ancient times. So why is it awake now? And looking this way so angrily, eep! Just got a random notification. Oh, there was a safe spot. And I didn't. Oh, gosh. All right, phase two. Layden uses the mysterious power. Oh. Yeah, now they're just split into force. Oh, that's right. Invincibility frame abuse. Oh, right. No! They got a rally going. Ah, oh, dang it! Okay, come on. No, oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna be fun. I'm gonna live. No! Why is this so hard? Okay, they're fused back into one. Should be easier. Ah, wind blades. He's a Pokemon again. He's using air cutter. No! All right, all right! Oh my gosh! Landed is defeated and split back into fourths and I almost died! <sighs> Little cutscene. A crown kind of fell off his head and we're all happy. And DDD still looks like he came out of Club Penguin. Hooray. But wait, what? Megalore! K Bravo, Kirby. You truly earned your reputation as a hero. Your help defeating Landia was invaluable. Ah, at long last, it's mine. 
the source of limitless power, the Master Crown! Ha! Obtaining this crown has been my ultimate goal all along. What? What's with the weird looks? Fine, let me explain everything. I fought Landia by myself and lost, so I fled to Planet Popstar. That's when the thought struck me. I could have... I could have you defeat Landia for me. A stroke of genius, I know. You even helped me repair my Star Cutter. I really did appreciate that, by the way. Anyway... <laughs> the time has come for your planet! No, the time has come for the entire universe to bow down to me! And for being such a big help in all of this, your planet gets to go first! Prepare to bow, Popstar! Welcome your new overlord! So basically, we just caused Armageddon. We almost caused Armageddon. But don't worry, Landy is here! And they're gonna eat Kirby! Nope, they're gonna have Kirby fly on their back! <laughs> That's right, we're taking in- We're going into a freaking wormhole on the back of a tiny dragon! Not a sentence you normally think about saying, even DDD's got one! Wow, these things are strong if they can handle DDD's weight. It holds the weight of Club Penguin, an Edgelord, a Waddle Dee with a bandana, and a Kirby. Here we go! Now, if you're on four player, you do control four people. Level eight, another dimension. Okay, I was right. You do just go immediately in. Are you given like a, okay. New power, Blandit. Landia comes to the rescue and Planet Pop starts no. The entire universe is time of need. The dragon joins the battle with Team Kirby. Okay, so we have a star breath. We have a spiral dragon as I showed. I can charge it. And that's it, okay. Oh! It's a... It's a shoot-em-up! Getting hurt. Open. Candy. Okay, it's not dangerous if I touch those. All right. Oh, one up. I don't need it, but I want it. Okay, didn't actually have to kill them. Got it. Would have been cool if you did. It was like a mini boss. That would have been cool. Don't we have a final boss fight against the Star Cutter though? Okay, I can't harm them. I don't even think I can do this and no. Okay. Out. Ow. Meat! Oh, okay, that happens when you kill them. Also, I missed an opportunity for candy. But yeah, if you have four play- if you have four player on, then you would have all four party members writing a laden as well. Okay, huge. Also, huge is food. Nice. Okay, third part of another dimension. Let's see here. Oh! Oh, hey! Megalore! Don't we just fight the lore star cutter here? I think so. Uh, yes! Now we have a boss fight against- Oh, but it's evil looking now! Do we have a screen for it? 
Lore and Magalore. The Lore Starcutter, now controlled by the traitor Magalore, is being used as a weapon against Kirby and friends. If the shadowy ship had a mind of its own, how would it feel at this moment? Oh! Oh! Oh, good heavens! Oh! They are tracking! Okay. That took me off guard. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, alright. That, that terrified me. Okay, phase two! And healing. <sighs> Got it. Huh? Oh. Oh, it's got a shield. Okay, that's like an invincibility dodge. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're just in a bullet hell now. Got it. Oh, the shield phase again. But I can also just easy dodge. Oh, wait, what, what? Okay, that was a new attack. I gotta do it this way. Yes. I had to end it with a melee. I gotta like charge my face into you. Oh, Magalore is just wild teleporting. Now fly forth. Okay, yeah, see, you got other people on him as well. But in that in that area, you would have had all four there. He's teleporting. And now we're just gonna go straight into a vortex. This form does look really cool. Oh, he's shooting us. And Meta Knight's just smacking him all away, because he, he's an awesome swordsman. Oh, now he's got big ones! He's got lots of them. Oh, there goes DDD, there goes Bandana Waddle D, and there goes Meta Knight, and there goes Layden, or er, not Layden, Landia. <laughs> Thinking more on the Greek legend. Basically, to where it came from, it was part of the 12 labors of Heracles. Oh, okay, uh, before I continue, something important. Yes! It has to be mech! We have to end this with mech! Not going random. Final boss, but basically, in order to get the, in order to get this fruit, he had to kill Layden to get Atlas to pick it for him. But Magalore. Also, if you notice there, the crown wiggles. That's it's a little hint to show that it's actually kind of alive. But here we go. Magalore. Magalore is revealed as a manipulative mage who tricked Kirby and friends into fixing his ship, then stole Halcantra's legendary treasure, the Master Crown. It's up to Kirby to save the universe. Are they gonna just... Okay, it is like that. <laughs> the teleporting kind of reminds me of... Uh, Marks. Oh, uh, don't want to be there. Okay. All right, immediate phase two. That's just how good I am. Can he get bigger? Oh, what is this? Oh, black hole. Got it. No, Kirby, Kirby, no, no, no. Oh. Okay. Just walk. Oh. What's happening? Oh, what? 
Okay, that was an attack. Okay, now we're in this phase. This is an interesting phase. Do the stars look familiar to you? That's right. We've got to use monster. We got to use all of the ultra abilities that were introduced. But now he has stronger attacks to match. Ah, dang it. Oh, wait, there we go. We broke the first one. Or do I still keep it? Wait, no, I think it was just about to summon another black hole. Yeah, okay. But not all of them are the right ones. Oh, if I walk into it, I can also just take it, okay. I'm just gonna keep this on hand until... Oh, I can also take out the uh, balls. Ah, dang it. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, that's what happens. Got it. Okay, so what's the next ultra ability he summons? Because there are multiple ones he'll summon. Uh, ah, Flare Beam! Now, like I said, I used to suck with this ability when I first played, but that was until I learned how it actually works. Gotcha! Huh? What's that? Oh, the black hole's back! Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh! Got him! <laughs> Trap! Okay, I think the last one we use here is Ultra Sword, I think is what he summons last. Yeah! <laughs> Ultra Sword! Ah, oh, dang it, that. Boom! Boom! Got him! Yeah, I ain't letting you do this. Final smash! Boom! Oh, right, uh... I forgot there's always a button mash sequence! Oh my god, I'm shaking the camera! Oh wait, I failed! Ah, dang it. Okay, he only has that one up. He's too weak. Dang it. I thought I could've! Okay, where's the Ultra Sword? Just get it early. Okay, this time I'm not failing. <laughs> Final smash! Sorry about the people with headphones. moment. Although, I don't think we're done yet. Don't we have one more phase? Yes! This time the Master Crown takes a full four. And it looks like this. Does this version have a new look? No. Okay. Or a new name. Okay, no. Okay. Okay, now we have one more boss fight! Oh! Mech! Mech, 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 mech! Oh, a mech! Oh, what I swallowed up was nothing. Dang it! Huh? Oh! Oh, that was a nothing too. Okay. What's happening now? Oh, right, this attack. 
Okay, please summon copy abilities again. Nope! Here's a Kamehameha! Okay, I hit him. Oh, he's summoning again. I see a rocket. Boom! Huh? A cube. You're a rectangle. With a star. What? Oh! That would have killed me! Ah, dang it. I'm not gonna last long. I have a feeling I'm not lasting long. Maybe I can get a better ability. Nope, I gotta use bomb here. Huh? Oh. Nope. And nope. Oh, this attack again! <sighs> oh, the Kamehameha! No! 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 Don't kill! Don't kill! Don't kill! How did I not die? Uh, maybe something new? Healing? Beam. Yeah, beam. Beam works well. Why did I jump? Okay, uh, what's the pattern? Gotta go here. Otherwise, that would kill me. Oh, this is again. It's tech again. Okay, uh, second phase. Unfortunately, no healing. Oh, what? Oh, swords. Okay. Oh, hey, Revolution Beam. What? What's this? Oh! He's copying my monster flare! How did I... Oh, next hit and I'm dead! What's the shape? Oh, it's, a uh, Red Cross. Or, uh, German? I don't... It's some country joke I can make. Oh, the Kamehameha! But now it teleports! No. Now it's traveling through portals. This has to be some anime reference. What is he do? What's he summoning? Oh, he's like Flare Beam! Oh god, it's Pong. Oh no! Can I get, like, a sword? Nope. Stick him with Bean Man, got it. Huh? Oh, the black hole's back! No, 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 no! This is a stressful finale! Okay, this attack again. Okay. And... 
dodged! Fish! Oh, please don't tell me I have to go through the first phase again. Praise Messiah. No. I'm good. Huh? Why wasn't it spamming? Okay. Whatever, this is better. Winning with Max. Oh, uh, the fly attack again. Ha! Mid-air kill. Alright! Iron Kirby to the save! Iron Kirby, saving the day. Okay. Okay, this gives me a lot of free time to get hits off. This is just... Okay, we won! Nice! Should have won with the but whatever, we beat Nagalor! Which means we beat the game! And now he's just normal Megalore with a destroyed Master Crown. The rest from here are just cutscenes, so I'm taking the glove off prematurely. Okay, so now, Magalore has been defeated! But wait, we're in a collapsing dimension within space-time! So that's not good, we should probably dip. Like DC, when they try to make a cinematic universe. Oh, yep, the ground is collapsing around us. Yeah, just your typical Kirby game, you know, reality shattering all around you. Only to be saved by dragons and a flying ship. Which apparently has a mind of its own. How is it flying without someone piloting? Unless someone is piloting? Maybe one of the Waddledees? Makes sense. Oh, yep. Wait, Kobe, Kirby, Kirby, open your eyes! Good. You're like, yay. Alright, just another day in Kirby Worlds. Just reality shattering around you as you face manipulative mages and gods of destruction. Just your typical Kirby game. And we are getting TF out of here. Whee! Just as we escaped a dying dimension. Huh. And this Kirby music again. Happy music. It's that peaceful little piano. With a happy little butterfly who may or may not be the Angel of Judgment. Morpho Knight. We still don't really know much with Morpho Knight because he's only appeared in two games. He was supposed to appear in more, but they canceled the game he was going to appear in. So, poor Morpho Knight. Aw, oh, poor DDD, but it's just happy music! Yay! <laughs> He's got a flower on his head. Flowery DDD! <laughs> Even Meta Knight's laughing, kind of! Oh, Landia? Landia! Now they're just gonna go back to their own world of Halcandra. 
Probably for the best anyway. We have enough dragons and metal birds here anyway. <sighs> we got enough weird in Dreamland to begin with. We don't need any more. And who, are, who am I kidding? We always need more weird in the world of Kirby. It's how we shock all the people who've never played a Kirby game before. To make them go, wait, this is, what is with this Kirby game? Like, I love it when a person plays a Kirby game for the first time because they just get, re they just see the weird lore. It's even better when someone tries to learn the lore. And that is the game. <sighs> this really was a fun game. I remember when I got this back when it first released. I loved it then, and I still love it now. And this was a really good remake. It's like, I loved a lot of the updated graphics, even if King DDD looks like he came out of Club Penguin. And there is one more thing they've added. Now, I also do want to say, in my original playthroughs, first, like I said, I sucked at using the beam, the flare beam power, and second, I never actually beat the item challenge. I don't even think I did many of the challenges before. Ha! Meta Knight. Hmm, Meta Knight standing on Mr. Dude. But, yeah. Also, I loved the sand and mecha abilities that they introduced. They were- I, I made a lot of memes out of them, but they were still fun. Oh, hey! Water Galapagos and a flat penguin. Hey, are they gonna show that boss you never saw me beat? Uh, they showed Kirby as a Naruto cosplayer. Alright. Are they gonna show him? There! This is the guy- you never actually saw me beat him, but you saw me fight him a little in that one short. Oh, uh, power saving. Oh, there, apparently I'm canonically fire Kirby in that image. Interesting. <sighs> I love these little stills they have. They're so cute. Us fighting Mr. Dootler, I think his name was? Or, no, that was, uh, Du Boyer. Du Bois? The boy, yeah. Doobier, no, that's it. That was the final Doomer. That was us. Just under a water. Alright. <sighs> oh, uh, that's when he fought the Metal General. Which makes you sound like he came out of Invincible. Or like, or like one of those like non-Marvel or DC comic products. Oh, the Hal thing. Okay, uh... Yeah, in every Kirby game, there is a hidden level that has the words HAL written out in breakable blocks. In one level, in like the early game. I didn't find it here, because I don't know, I didn't actually know where it was. Oh, you could also cut a volcano in half. Interesting. But yeah, that's just a feature. Oh, there's us fighting a dragon with leaves. I'm pretty sure there's a distinct advantage, disadvantage there. As someone who's played Pokemon. Oh, uh, there's us fighting uh, the Lore Star Cutter when it's evil. Are they going to show our fight with Megalore? Oh, yeah! There's Monster Flame breaking the first two shields. Now, if I, I don't know if there's other abilities that are used outside of Flare, Beam, Monster Flame. Oh, we are Sword in that form. That makes a lot of sense. And then there's just us winning. But that would have been if I had four player going, which I didn't, so. Oh, there's that hit. That was the other thing they added to this game. And I will be doing it. They have an extra little side story thing following Magalore. Oh, hey, there's a lore star cutter and Landia. And I actually will be playing. So this isn't actually the end of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I will be setting this as a separate playlist, just because. So this is the finale, but I will be doing the Magalore storyline. Van pool. Why'd you put a van in a pool? That's just gonna ruin the pool and the van. There's Hell Laboratory, Nintendo, and there's a copyright. <sighs> Oh! 
Elixir Warp Star thing. Hi, Caribbean friends. There's more! There's more! Like, I know there's more. They're gonna show it here. Yep, so we're moving clear. We can now, oh, we got a new mask. That's Traitor Magalore. I did a 100% story completion. We get this cute little thing. I'm gonna just, worth it. But now we've got extra stuff. Extra mode is now available following Magalore after we beat him. There's the arena, which is just like a boss or thing. Oh no, there's the Magalore epilogue, the interdimensional traveler. Oh, and now we got a jukebox available. Wait, then what's extra mode? Is that just us playing with the other people? That is just good. Never mind. What was extra mode? Oh, uh, did I just accidentally start something? What is? What is this extra mode? I got like no introduction into what this was. That... Oh, I see. It is a hard mode. Well, one question. If I go to the Laura Star Cutter, is this still going to have the item challenges in it? So it's like I just play the game again, but I have less health. Are there also going to be like EX bosses? I can't even go or to look. Okay, um, back to mode selection. Okay, so I'm not going to do that since it's literally just the same thing. I will be doing the Interdimensional Traveler. And if you guys want to, I'll do the arena and then later the true arena, which is the same as the arena, but significantly harder with even harder bosses. So, um, let me know if you guys want me to, oh, wait, I think if this is what it, yeah, you guys want to see something funny? Um, some of these games, uh, Kirby Spiders Deluxe was only available on the eShop, as in something that doesn't exist anymore, meaning they're advertising something you can't even play. Same with uh, DDD Drum Dash Deluxe, same with uh, Cur Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, same with Kirby's Blowout Blast, Battle Royale. I don't know, Epic Yarn is on 3DS, I knew it was on Wii. But it is just kind of funny. Okay, so like I said, I'll be doing the Magalore epilogue as a separate series. And until then, I'll be ending everything right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Comment down below since it helps me connect with you guys. Like the video so I know there's more of what you want to see. Share the video so more people know the channel even exists. And don't forget to hit that bell so you know when my videos come up. And don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I've got a big project upcoming soon. And until next time, see you guys.